welcome back to the c programming lecture series and in this tutorial we are going to design this half pyramid of numbers in past tutorial we have designed half pyramid of stars now we are going to design half pyramid of numbers we will write one then one two then one two three then one two three four similarly one two three four and five our program should write should generate this type of pyramid so we are going to start so we have declared one two and three three variables i j and rows and we will see what is our code doing here first of all i am printing here enter the number of rows so this message will be printed enter the number of rows this will be printed okay i have to type the number of rows so whatever i will type scanf percent d and rows whatever i will type here that will be scanned and will be scanned to this rows variable here so suppose i will enter 3 okay for i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to rows so i is initialized to 1 i is less than or equal to rows yes i is less than this 3 okay so for now uh, I will enter inside the uh, block of this for loop here is another for loop which is nested with this for loop here j is initialized to 1 j is equal to 1 j is less than or equal to i now this j will be compared to this it is uh, it is uh, the condition is that j should be less than or equal to i but it is not less than but it is equal to i so this line of code will get executed print f person d space of value of j so this value of j1 will get printed we will print one here and some space is here so one and some space will occur here then uh, there will be the increment to this j which is pre-increment so j will become two now j will be compared again uh, here this uh, in this condition j will be compared with i is j less than or equal to i yes j no j is 2 and i is 1 neither it is equal to nor it is less than it is greater than okay so it will not enter into this block so it will come out of this block and our uh, our control will reach to this line which is out of this for loop block here it is printf slash new line so our new line so our control will come into the new line we are here now okay now here here we go and uh, we will give increment to this i so i will get incremented to two okay from one to two now is two less than or equal to rows yes two is less than this three so this condition will get executed this uh, so this uh, block will get executed again now j will be again initialized to one when this uh, when this block is executed another time it was j was 2 but now it is again initializing j to 1 now j will become again 1 for this cycle so j will j is less than or equal to i yes j is less than i so this block will get executed where it is saying that you have to print the value of j with this space so what is the value of j we are all we are already in the new line and the j value of j is 1 so 1 will get printed here and one space will get printed here okay then again increment will happen to this j so j will become 2 again uh, when this condition is checked i is equal to j so again this block will get executed and value of j we have to print so here value of j is 2 which will get printed now again we will increment this j by 1 j will become 3 now the condition is false and it will not enter this condition is false and it will not enter into this block now it will come out of this block after that it is finding that i have to i have to uh, print a new line i have to come into the new line so control will reach here and uh, after that we will give increment to this i i will become three okay so when i will become three uh, so i will rub this out okay when i will become three when i will become three and i is less than or equal to rows this time i is not less than rows but i is equal to rows so till the condition is true and it will enter into this block where j is again initialized to one and j is one and j is less than or equal to i yes this one is less than this i and this uh, we have to print this j so here value of j will get printed i will print one and one space then j will get increment by one j will become two 
and that is also condition is also true this time j is less than i this 2 is less than this 3 and this line will get executed again and it will print 2 this time because the value of j is 2 this time now again this j will get incremented by 1 and it will become 3 so j is less than or equal to i but it is equal to this time and the condition is still true when the condition is true so that so this block will get again executed and it will write the value of j that is equal to 3 now the j will become 4 by incrementing it again but the condition here this time becomes false because 4 is not less than or equal to this 3 j is not less than or equal to this i so it will come out of this block and new line will get our control will get into the new line so we are we are here and this time we will increment this i by 1 so i will become 4 and the condition here will be checked that i is less than or equal to rho this 4 is not less than or equal to this row so the condition is false so we will come out of this block this time this block will not get executed and we will come to the end of this program end of this for loop and also end of this program so our result is this so if we, if you want another line 1 2 3 4 for that you have to enter the number of rows we have written a number of rows here as three as you can see you have to increase the number of rows to four if you want to write here one two three four and five you have to because number of rows this time is five one two three four and five so you have to write number of rows here as five that time now we will run this program once so we have we are going to run this i will run this and i want to see the output of this program now i am entering here the number of rows as three you will see 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 so similarly if i will write the number of rows as more 5 you can see the half pyramid according to that so this was how to print a half pyramid of numbers thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel industry technologies